consumer inflation was released yesterday and it came in at 2.5% versus the expectation of 2.6%. You would think that would be viewed as a good number, but there was a problem. Core inflation, which excludes volatile food and energy prices, actually came in on a monthly basis higher than expected, which leads some in the market to question what the Fed will do next week when it's expected to cut rates. So what does this mean? Food and energy prices are down, bringing down overall inflation for the consumer down to 2.5%. But sticky rent and home prices have elevated core inflation, again, leaving some in the market to question what the Fed's going to do next week, cut by a quarter percent or cut by a half percent. Used vehicle prices were lower, but airfares went up for the first time in five months. So what will the Fed do next week? We don't think it even matters because over the next year or two, the Fed is expected to cut rates between 1.75% and 2.5%, depending on the estimates you're looking at. So being short-sighted about what rate cut they do next week really shouldn't matter because the path for interest rates is down. We also believe that this should be fantastic for bonds, which have been hammered for the last two years.